So I put this box on the back of here for counterweight basically to have weight on the back end and it's stacked full of all kinds of metal and then the bottom of there is a bunch of quarter inch stuff just stacked several inches thick right in the bottom of it. So I want to see how much this actually weighs because I know some of y'all will probably be asking so I want to find out how much it's going to weigh. And I probably added another, I don't know, 20, 30 pounds on the back end of this thing with this, this steel and this steel and the steel on the back that lengthened it out. And I want to see how much this weighs so I can tell how much counterweight I actually have on it. There it is, 206.6. .6. So, uh, naturally, I couldn't lift it off of there. So, I had to unload most of it and put it back on, uh, put it back in there to weigh it. That's what I'm talking about, all the extra steel that I added onto the back end of here. But, uh, now let me Empty that back out enough for me to lift it back up on there. So I have a bad back. That probably was not a good idea to pick that up. But anyway, I thought I'd go through what this project cost me. Um, this is strictly what it cost me. You know, it might cost you more. It might cost you less. Um, cost you less, that's great. I like to do things with stuff I can get cheaply or for free. So a lot of the stuff in the project, I did get for free and for cheaply. You may or may not be able to. Um, let's start out with the hydraulic components. Of course, I had to buy all those. Um, I used three cylinders. They are 18 inch uh, travel distance. Um, I bought them off Amazon. You can get them at TSC. You can get them at Northern Tool. I'm sure there's several uh, regular hydraulic supply companies out there, but that's just what I did. I, I bought them off of uh, Amazon. Also, the control valve I bought off of Amazon, and as well as the pump. And between those, between three cylinders, the control valve, and the pump, I ended up with about $1,000. I just kind of rounded off. It's pretty close to that. 
And then the next bunch of stuff uh, was hoses and fittings. Um, I think you could probably end up with a wide price range in this, in this stuff because uh, I ended up having to go to several different places to find all the fittings and parts uh, to, to get what I needed. Um, I was able to get some fittings and some of the hoses from my local Ace Hardware store that actually decided they were going to close out their hydraulic parts and pieces. So uh, I got a pretty good deal on what they had. Uh, I wasn't able to get as much as I'd hoped from them, but it was about half to two thirds the normal price that I got some of it. Uh, I ended up getting some of the parts, the hoses and the fittings from TSC. I did end up having to buy some of them on Amazon. Uh, I couldn't find anybody that had the T fittings that would split off uh, to T off to go to two different directions or to each side. And uh, so all of those pieces plus the fluid, some little plugs that I had to put in the uh, original hydrostat that I where I took a cylinder out that I had to plug it and uh, the little hose barb down on the back of the transaxle where I hooked a hose for the inlet hose uh, all of that was four hundred dollars and like I say yours might yours might be higher yours might be cheaper on that all this stuff is going to be variable in prices um, here I have maintenance uh, and this is basically, a lot of it is engine maintenance and tractor maintenance. Um, just filters like air filter, uh, oil filter, a new gas filter. The gaskets for the hydrostat and the gaskets for the exhaust on the motor. Uh, I had to buy a new coil spark plugs, uh, a new belt because that one was slipping terribly and I changed the changed the oil in it. All of that maintenance stuff ended up being about $150. Now that's that's gonna be definitely variable. Yours, yours might be in perfect shape. You don't have to buy anything for it and if you bought a piece of junk you might have to buy a whole bunch of stuff for it. Uh, so Miscellaneous on here, I have electrical plus the battery. Uh, I bought a 435 cold cranking amp battery, um, regular lawnmower type battery for it. Uh, the electrical was stuff like um, the switches, the gauges, that was about $130. And then Paint, I did pretty decent. I just spray bombed everything, spray can paint on everything, uh, $50. Hardware bolts and bushings, um, that was for each one of the pivot points. I had uh, three quarter bolts in there, one inch to three quarter uh, bronze bushings in everything, the um, grease fittings. Uh, all of that type stuff come up to about $95. Again, that will vary drastically on your project. Uh, welding supplies, that's just gas and wire. Uh, I estimated about $100 worth on that. Um, the stuff to do where the pump is on the um, hydrostat, um, the filler cap, the coupler, and the little inlet hose was $56. And then I upgraded to the front wheel hubs. They were uh, four bolt trailer hubs. Uh, and I, I just bought them on Amazon too. Uh, they were about $100 for the pair of them. So 
that section of miscellaneous come to $531. And this miscellaneous down here on the variables, this is definitely going to vary a whole bunch. I personally bought the tractor uh, probably 10 years ago, and I think I gave $100 for it. So I didn't have much in the tractor. Yours is probably going to be more. You might be able to get one for free, you know. Uh, I put on here overages of $200 because I bought a little tank that I thought I was going to use to put the hydraulic fluid in. It wasn't really made for that. I was going to try to make it work. Uh, I bought the wrong pump and had to buy another pump, so I ended up with a little bit of overage in, overages in that, and I was stuck with some fittings that I bought wrong. So that's what that is. Um, then I put wheels and tires. I had zero dollars in those. Um, I bought a bunch of wheels and tires from basically a scrap yard years ago, and I've way more than paid for all of the what I have left. So uh, I put zero dollars on that. You could easily end up with two to four hundred dollars in wheels and tires, maybe more than that. So um, steel. Now this is definitely going to be a big variable. Um, I used my motor hoist. I bought that thing probably 25 years ago to pull a motor out of a vehicle and I've used it for several other things pulling fence posts out and that type of thing but I bought it bought it in one of these surplus places years ago before Harbor Freights were all over everywhere and I gave about a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars for it then uh, probably the equivalent would be probably three hundred to three hundred and fifty dollars now for the same type of thing and that's what I used for the square tubing steel uh, I did use some handrail material for some of the round stock stuff that I used on there um, and some angle iron that I got from a, a job site that was getting rid of it. So I only counted the $150 basically that I gave for the, for the motor hoist. That's where that came from. You could easily have $500 in steel. And it depends on if you did as much as I did or didn't do, don't do as much as what I did. Um, as far as extending the, the rear end on it, putting the hoop around the seat in the back and that type of stuff, you could end up with, with more than $500 in it. But So I put that total of the um, variable items at $450. Like I say, that can that could change a whole lot. So you've got the hydraulic components for a thousand dollars. You got fittings and hoses for four hundred dollars. Maintenance one hundred and fifty dollars. Miscellaneous five hundred and thirty one dollars on the variable miscellaneous for four hundred and fifty dollars. I've got twenty five hundred and thirty one dollars in this tractor. Like I say you could have way more than that hey if you can make it for less than that great um but that's just what i got in it and i thought y'all would would enjoy hearing that so thanks a lot for watching i appreciate all the views on the videos and be sure and watch again and i'll see you on the next one